The 805 Focus is brought to you in part by Nonprofit Connect. Nonprofit Connect provides superior leadership tools and resources so nonprofit leaders and board members can make valuable decisions to move their organization forward to a sustainable and vibrant future. More information on services online at nonprofitconnect.org. Welcome everyone to 805 Focus. I'm Dr. Cinder Sinclair with Nonprofit Connect, and we're gonna bring you the latest on your favorite nonprofits. So get ready to be inspired. Our special guests today are Patience and Scott from Pathpoint. Welcome you two, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Thank happy you to be for here. Having us. <laughs> yes, and so we're, we're gonna hear all about Pathpoint, what you do, all the fabulous work, all the lives that you're changing, <laughs> All the exciting projects you have going on. So, Patience, would you like to talk to us a little bit about what you're doing? Yes, I am the employment specialist at Pathpoint, and basically, I I consider myself a matchmaker ah. <laughs> between uh, companies in the community as well as our clients. Um, I do business development and I do job development services as well, meaning that I get I get our folks work ready help them with applying for jobs, matching them to the right jobs, and uh, building that connection. So tell us a little bit about your clients. Mm -hmm. So we serve clients that have disabilities and or disadvantages. Okay. Um, that covers any and every disability that you can think of, um, anywhere from intellectual disabilities to um, you know, physical disabilities, whatever disability there is. Um, we also work with individuals that are disadvantaged, that includes youth, um, mm -hmm. as well as folks that are a little bit older that are trying to reintegrate back into the workforce. Okay. So you work with the clients mm -hmm. to help them get ready to be employable. Yes. And then you also go out and find businesses <laughs> yes. that want to employ them. Yes. And you make that connection. No wonder you call yourself the matchmaker. Exactly. Um, and our folks are referred to us by either Tri-Counties Regional Center as well as um, the Department of Rehabilitation. And right now we're partnering with, also with local uh, organizations um, and, you know, for, for youth, youth referrals. Um, and so basically they come in, they've got work experience, they've got education, they've got a history. Um, we are very people-centered. So I, you know, assess what their skill set is, um, help them with their resumes, help them with job search, uh, interview skills, cover letters. And then on the other side, I then uh, network with local businesses, understand what their needs are, understand what their challenges are as far as, um, you know, employment and recruiting is concerned. Uh, because our goal is, you know, don't hire folks with disabilities and disadvantages because it, you know, gives you warm and fuzzies in the belly, mm. but because it makes business sense. Ah. Meaning, um, you know, you can save on hiring costs, um, especially for smaller businesses. The, you know, the bottom line, you know, stays a little higher at the end of the year. So there's different ways we can, um, you know, make it a mutually beneficial um, connection well, and relationship. that's great. Can you just say a little bit more about that? What, what, you know, what would make a business want, f feel like this was a good business decision? Okay. Mm. Um, first of all, our folks are stable, um, they're reliable, they're consistent, mm. and they're able to, to live in Santa Barbara, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they can afford to live in Santa Barbara mm -hmm. because of different resources um, that the state and the federal government and community organizations are able to offer them. Um, and also because, you know, with individuals that have challenges in getting employment or getting anything basically in life, when you finally get that thing that you've been really wanting for a long time, um, you tend to be very appreciative and you give it your all, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so um, basically what we do is companies go out, they look for, Santa Barbara is a college town, right? So students mm -hmm. are going to be there for a short period of time, but then when they graduate, they go home. Our folks don't go anywhere, they stay. Um, so basically, you save on hiring costs, uh, reduced employee turnover rates. That okay. costs money, you know what I mean, to mm -hmm. a business. And also because we partner with the Department of Rehabilitation as well as Tri-Counties Tri Regional Center, there's some money that comes with that uh, for training, 
okay. uh, on the job training. Let's say it's someone who doesn't have as much work experience in the field as you know, you know another another individual. Mm -hmm. um, there are work opportunity tax credits um, that companies that hire individuals with disabilities are able to to benefit from. Um, and some of our folks come with, with what we call job coaches. Oh. These are built-in supervisors. Wow. They assist with the training, right? So then as a supervisor, you don't have to micromanage. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah. That is great. If I was a business, I'd want to sign up for that. Yeah. That's wonderful. That's <laughs> so Scott, now you have a new program that you're rolling out. Tell us about that. Yeah, we're really excited about it. Um, Pathpoint, you know, they've been broadening the the scope of individuals that we serve. Mm. So since we started, since Pathpoint was established in 1964 and spread to five 64. different, yeah, it's been it's been going around for over 50 years, I guess. Um, I've been there for that long too. <laughs> so um, anyway, so they started working with individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities, mm. but then they started to broaden that that scope of who we serve. And uh, more recently, that's been including people with uh, disadvantages as well. And so, uh, I mean, a few years ago, we started a new program to work with youth who uh, were disadvantaged youth who had barriers to employment and also academics. Mm -hmm. But then most recently, what I'm the program coordinator for is last year, we started a new program called College to Career Advancement that now works with college students with disabilities and helping them to bridge the gap from getting their degree in their field or their certification in the college mm -hmm. and transferring those skills and that degree over into the workforce. You know, wow. we, you know, people refer to that as a career pathway. Mm -hmm. That's something that's already challenging for most college students. It was challenging for me and to most people that I work with. Yeah. Um, however, you know, you imagine if you have a documented disability, uh, if you're a veteran, you know, certain things like that that can make the process even more difficult. And so what this program is seeking to do is partner with our local colleges to help those individuals that are in need of additional support and bridge that gap in some of the ways that Patience has already referenced, mm -hmm. that we work with them in providing uh, career counseling mm -hmm. and even work readiness preparation and then bridge that gap through matchmaking yeah. in uh, connecting the students now, with a specialized skill set who are looking for a specific field to enter into and partner in with the businesses that already know what Pathpoint's all about and bridge that gap to try to make that transition simpler and easier and smoother to benefit the student as well as the business. Wow. Yeah. So how long have you been involved with Pathpoint? So this may all be at Pathpoint for three years. I started out as a job coach, and so I've been in employment services this oh. entire time. And so when Patience is referencing how we uh, do our best to support the individuals that we serve mm -hmm. um, in and outside of the job, I've always been more uh, focused on helping individuals at their job sites, helping them with their job skills and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm taking that and I'm relating that to working with a specific demographic of college students. Gosh. And patients, how about you? How long have you been involved? Um, this is my fifth year. So wow. that's, it's been very exciting. Like Scott, I started off as a job coach and yeah. then um, nine months later, I started work as an employment specialist. So. I can see you both just love what you do. <laughs> Gee, what a perfect talk about matchmaking. Yeah, That's there you the go. Perfect place for you. Thank so, you. Um, do most communities or counties mm. or cities have something like Pathpoint? I can take that one. Sure. Yeah. So now there's a system in place in the state of California, and I think California is really leading the way, and uh, more so than most states in helping individuals with disabilities. And so a system that's in place is the Department of Rehab. Oh. Um, you know, so you can see a Department of Rehab helping individuals, which in the areas like in vocational rehabilitation or even reintegrating through academics, through getting a, um, through getting a degree, through your college, mm -hmm. or finishing your uh, diploma. Mm -hmm. And also there's the Tri-Counties Regional Center mm -hmm. that also supports individuals with disabilities, more, more of the severe disabilities, 
from them being a youth and th even throughout their entire life. Mm -hmm. um, now, there are other organizations that specialize to help individuals and in other ways they call us vendors and we mm -hmm. oftentimes are uh, we oftentimes partner with Department of Rehab and Tri-County's yeah. Regional Center or regional centers across the state of California oh, to provide right. various right. different services. Um, one thing that I do want to note though is the College to Career Advancement Program it is brand new to Santa Barbara County uh -huh. and it's very unique actually this is the first program like it and there's seven other organizations throughout the state of California that have mm -hmm. a similar program. Oh. We're overseen by uh, the State Employment Development Department. Okay. And so what's really neat is, um, you know, if an individual's in Santa Barbara and they're looking to receive services from us, um, if they are looking to move to a different state, oh. we're oftentimes networked with the various different organizations uh, whether it be Pathpoint, we're in San Luis Obispo, Kern County, Santa Barbara, also Ventura and Los Angeles. And oh. we can connect individuals to the organizations there. Or we're also aware of all the other supports uh, across the state to help connect individuals, you know, because people are oftentimes transitioning. And so, yeah. you know, when we, when we get them into the organization, we're oftentimes able to not turn anyone away and make mm -hmm. sure that they're receiving the supports they need where they're at. So are all those different ones in those different counties called Pathpoint? Yes. Oh. Yes. Well, one organization, just yes, in are. five different um, Oh, areas. Oh, all right. I yeah. get it. And that's great because um, our clients don't pay anything for our service. Mm. Um, and businesses don't pay anything for our service either. So wow. we are essentially a full service employment agency that costs the business nothing. And um, we can come in during staff meetings, we can you know, train businesses on how to communicate, on how to work with individuals with disabilities. Um, and no one is born with a, um, you know, like a, a chip in their mind that, <laughs> hey, you know, with knowledge, right, inexhaustible knowledge about disabilities, this is where we come in. And so um, it's great. And our folks also have different uh, qualifications because I know with a lot of businesses, they hear disability, they think, mm. you know, maybe somebody who's in a wheelchair, nonverbal, not able to do anything. And I like to say, I could have a disability and you wouldn't even know, right? And these are folks that are just as capable, just as everyone else. Uh, we have a wide range of qualifications. No work experience, no education, education, vocational training, mm -hmm. to minimal experience, all the way to, you know, uh, doctorate degrees, mm -hmm. actually. You know, so um, we have a wide gamut. They're just like any and everybody, and they're more than able. I think they have unique abilities rather than yeah. disabilities. Mm -hmm. So... Let's say somebody's watching this and they say, oh, I have a friend or a family member that I think w could benefit from this. How can they get signed up? Okay. So uh, basically what they would need to do is uh, reach out to the Department of Rehabilitation oh, okay. and request uh, services. And then through that, they can then be referred over to us for services. Okay. Yeah. Good. And so you collaborate a lot with other organizations, I would imagine. We do. That's the best way to do it. Yeah. When you bring everybody to the table that can have an impact in some way, you get them all on the same team to work together. Yeah. Yeah. And in that way, you're best able to have a collective impact. Yes. And so one thing that I would like to add, though, yeah. is when we work with individuals, we're not giving them our agenda of what we see as success for them. What we do is we really focus on a person-centered approach with oh. helping mm -hmm. the individual to live out the life that they choose, choose yeah. and desire. And that's even our mission statement. And wow. so what we do then is come alongside them to support them in their decision making, even yeah. partnering with their support network, you know, whether it be family, friends, employer, or even uh, their referred agency, mm -hmm. and make sure that we're supporting the individual to assume that life that they choose in the best way. Wow. Yeah. That is Imagine. really great. <laughs> Yeah, yes, absolutely. <laughs> One other thing that I would like to add is for individuals that are, um, you know, not necessarily affiliated with the regional center uh, and they're looking to 
reach out to Pathpoint for services, they can really hear out more about us through our website. Okay. And so even if they contact us, we know how the system works. You know, and so if they even contact us and get on the phone with us, we're able to you can tell help. them their pathway. Okay. Uh, to get, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but also, we like people to keep in mind, we work with an array of demographics. And so, you know, my job is I work with college students. Now, that includes people who are graduating soon and they're attending a local institution for that, or even if they've recently graduated. Okay. And then we also work with young adults who are having a hard time with getting through uh, high school or even they're dealing with homelessness, mm. which happens, you know. And then, you know, so we, we have an array of individuals that we're able to serve. And so we just love people to check us out on our websites, pathpoint.org. Pretty path easy. Pathpoint.org. And on our social media as well. So pathpointca on Facebook. We are on Twitter. We are also on Instagram and LinkedIn. Boy, so. you folks have got it going on. Yeah. Well, the, you know, you need well, to reach out to your audience. So <laughs> well, yeah. Thank you for being with us today thank and for you. all the good work you do for so many people. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We really appreciate <laughs> yes. you taking the time to chat with us my today. pleasure <laughs> and thank you for joining us on 805 focus and we'll see you next time so now we just